welcome back. Today I'm back with another holiday makeup tutorial. Since I kind of did the more classic holiday tutorial with the red lip last time, I wanted to do a more neutral look this time, although I did still use glitter because I feel like during the holidays you just have to use glitter. It's so appropriate. But you could definitely do this look without it if you want to do something a little bit more low key. I had so much fun making this video. I really like how it ended up turning out. I hope you guys do as well. Make sure to subscribe before you leave so you guys can be notified when I upload videos in the future and yeah I think that's all I have to say so let's go ahead and get started. Alright you guys so we're just gonna dive in to the eyes. I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette because when I did my full review on this so many people were like girl you better do a tutorial so I'm doing the tutorial for you guys today. I'll link my full review with swatches and everything down below if you're interested but I'm gonna be using this palette today and the first color I'm gonna go in with is peaches and cream and I am just working this into the crease as a neutral blending color so we have something down before we go in with darker colors you guys know I always do this and also let me know if you guys like me doing kind of just these like eye and face tutorials and starting with my like face makeup already done or if you would rather see me do my foundation and everything I didn't do it today just because um, you know I do it so often and I don't change the products all that much a lot of times with my foundation so I don't want to like bore you guys and always show you the same thing at the beginning of the video so that's why I did it already before filming today, but let me know if you like to see that and I can just throw that in um, with my future videos as well. Like, let me know whatever you guys like. Then I'm gonna hop in with Puree and I'm just working this into the crease as well to begin building up that color. I know I wanna do glitter with this look, so I don't think I'm gonna make the eye like overly smoky and dark. Um, Cause when I do glitter, I don't like to do like a super dark eye and glitter, I feel like it's a little much. So I'm probably gonna keep the eye somewhat neutral. Then I'm gonna go in with some of Summer Yum. I don't think I can ever do an eyeshadow look without putting some kind of like burnt orangey, warmish brown color in my crease. Like I really need to get out of my comfort zone, but I just love warm tones on my eyes. Ugh, I don't know. I need to do more cool tones, but we are gonna do a cool tone color all over the lid. That's why I feel like I'm going towards more warmer tones for the crease. Next, I'm gonna use a little bit of this color right here. This is Charmed for sure. It's like a really cool brown. I'm gonna use this in the crease just to kind of cool down all the warmth we have going on. That color just kind of cancels out a lot of the like orangey warmth. And then I'm just taking that same color on my lower lash line as well. Then I'm going to go in with my favorite color from the palette, this shade right here in the color Luscious, and put this all over my lid. How beautiful is this color? Oh my goodness, I love it so much. I'm also going to bring it into my inner corner as well. And then I'm going to take a little bit of white peach on the inner corner as well, just to brighten it up. And I'm also just going to put that beneath my brow bone as well, just to highlight that area. Now I definitely want to do glitter, but I think I'm going to do my liner first. I typically like to do my liner and then do the glitter after. So I'm going to go in with this new one from Lancome. I actually tried this yesterday and I really liked it. It's called the Grandiose Liner and I just have this one in black. I thought it was actually really good, so I'm going to use this today. Now that our liner's done, we're gonna move on to the glitter. If you guys watch my channel, you know that I hate loose glitter. Like, I'll use it sometimes, but I really don't like to use it. So I'm gonna use this. This is from Revlon, and this is the Photo Ready Eye Art, and it comes with this like liquid glitter, which is a lot easier to work with, in my opinion, than loose glitter. So I'm gonna go in with this, and I have this one in the shade, they come in a bunch of different shades, but this one is Twinkle Topaz. And you just like brush it on your lid like so. Now for lashes, I'm going to go in with the Icon Lashes in the style Spaced Out. And I'm also using the Tartiste Pro Black Lash Glue. I have been obsessed with this because I have to use latex-free lash glues, one with latex in them. They like bother my eyes. And this one is black, and this is like the first black one that was latex-free that I found, and I love it. 
Well, we let the lash glue dry, I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face. So first, we're gonna bronze. And I'm gonna use this baked bronzer. This is from Makeup Revolution. You can get it at Ulta, and this is in the shade Rock On World. And I'm just going to bronze up my skin with this. Then for contour, I'm going in with Benefits Hula. I'm just gonna contour out my cheekbones. For my blush today, I'm gonna to use this Laura Geller blush. I've never used this before, but it looks so pretty in the shade Sun Swept. Ooh, this is really pretty, I like this. It has a little bit of a glow to it. I love this. And then for my highlight, I'm gonna go in with this brand new one from Tarte. This is in the shade Stunner. This is very pretty. Then I'm just going to finish up the eyes with some mascara. And then last but not least, for the lips, I'm going to go in with my favorite lip combo of the moment. So I'm first going to start with a liner, and this is from Stila. It's in the shade Pink Moscato. And I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips. Then going in with MAC's Blankety Lipstick. And then topping it off with the NYX Viva Glam Lip Gloss in the shade VIP. So this is the completed look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this holiday makeup tutorial. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below before you leave so you can be notified in the future when I upload videos. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!